Hello everyone, I'm Benita and welcome to my channel Hopeful Turns. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you the tutorial of this crochet ninja face mask. And this has been made for a child size. Now you can customize this uh, mask for any size. You can make it for a toddler or a teenage person also if you are interested in making. Uh, but this is for a child size. This should fit about six to seven easily. Uh, and I've said, as I've said, this can be customized to any size. Now for this tutorial here, I'm going to use two different sized hooks here. I'm, I'll be making the mask here with a 4mm crochet hook. And for the eyes, I'm going to use a 3mm crochet hook. Uh, the entire mask here has been made with cotton yarn. Cotton is preferable if you are making for the mask. So I will be using green and yellow color for the mask, but I didn't have black and white cotton uh, yarn so i made it with acrylic so you'll just need some scrap yarns for that it's very tiny amount that you'll be needing instead of yellow you can also use orange blue red i think these are the colors basic colors for a ninja so that is all the things you need yes and of course you will need a pair of scissors and the darning needle to weave in the ends uh, now, if you are interested to see another mask, uh, I have already put up a video for a teddy bear mask. It was generally aimed for a toddler size. So, if you are interested, you can see that also. I will link that up in the i button and also in the description box. So, if you are interested, you can check that. One more thing, a request. If you are new to this channel and if you like this video, please consider subscribing. So, we will just get into the tutorial now. So here we'll start the mask with the green color yarn. So first of all, I'm going to make a slip knot. And after that, I'm going to chain a total of 29 chain stitches. That is, you have you should start the chain stitch in any multiples of 4 plus 1. So here I'll make 28 plus 1 total of 29 chain stitch. So here I have made 29 chain stitch and if I have to measure this, it is about 6 inches or 16 centimeter. So this is the covering that I'll get for my mask. Now if you want a bigger size mask or smaller size mask, you have to adjust the chain stitches according to it. Just make sure that it is in multiples of 4 plus 1. Now we'll start our row 1. So for row 1, I'm going to skip the first chain stitch. That is 28 plus 1, that 1 that we have added. I'm going to skip that. And in the next 7 stitches, I'm going to make single crochet. For single crochet, insert, pull up a loop. You have 2 loops. Pull through both the loops. So this is my first single crochet. Like that, I'm going to make 7 single crochet. So 1 is over. Come here and make a single crochet. 2. The next one, a single crochet. 3. Here again I'll make 4, 5, 6 and one last one, 7. So here I have got 7 single crochet. In the next 14 stitches I'll make one half double crochet each. So for a half double crochet you have to yarn over, insert your hook like this. Pull up a loop, you have three loops, pull through all the three. So this is my first half double crochet. Come to the next one, make another half double crochet. Like that, you will have to make a total of 14 half double crochets. So I'll just make 14 half double crochet and then show you the next step. So I'll make 14 half double crochets. So here I have completed 14 half double crochet. I have seven stitches remaining so in the last seven stitches i'll put single crochet so i'll put one single crochet each in the last seven stitches so that is how our pattern is going to be followed in the entire mask so first seven stitches will be single crochet after that 14 stitches will be half double crochet and the last seven stitches again will be single crochet so these this is the pattern that we are going to follow throughout 
now if you are confused uh, how many to divide it i'll just tell you how you can do it so if you are any multiples of 4 you just divide it into 2 so it is 28 here so divided you have 14 uh, half so the middle half 14 stitches will be half double crochet the remaining 14 stitches i'm going to divide as 7 and 7 so 7 single crochet here 7 here and 14 stitches half double crochet in the center so like that you can do it for any multiple of 4 so if you are going for 32 the half is 16 so you have 16 uh, half double crochet in the center then remaining 8 and 8 you can put as single crochet so that is the pattern we are going to follow so my one first row is over i'll show you how to do the second row so for second row i'm going to chain one and then turn my work and the second uh, row will be worked in the back loop so if you see you have a front loop and your back loops so i'll be working in the back loops for uh, all the remaining rows so for row two i have already put one chain stitch now come to the first stitch working in your back loop i'll make a single crochet so i'll make just like the earlier row i'll make seven single crochet first working in my back loop so this is my first single crochet come to the next stitch you have to just use your back loops make second single crochet like that i'll make seven single crochet here so in case you're finding it difficult to do the back loops you can make use of both the loops but it's just that when you use a back loop there is a little bit more of a stretch that is there so that is the only advantage of using your back loops so here i'll make seven single crochet so how many i have finished one two three four five six i'll have to make one more so here i'll make one more single crochet in the back loops next 14 stitches i'll make half double crochet and that too i'm going to work in my back loop so here in my back loop i'll make a half double crochet so this is my first half double crochet come to the next stitch and make a half double crochet so i'll make a total of 14 half double crochet in the back loops and then in the last seven stitches i'll make single crochet that too in the back loops so here i had completed making seven single crochet 14 half double crochet and seven single crochet and from here onwards it is the same you just have to chain one and then turn and then again work in your back loops i'm going to make this for about 10 rows making uh, seven single crochet 14 half double crochet and seven single crochet all worked in the back loops so here i'll make a total of 10 rows and then meet you so here i have uh, completed 10 rows and in between i had changed the color so four rows i had made with green after that three rows same pattern i followed just i changed the color to yellow made three rows and again i made three rows of green same uh, row one i had repeated over so i have a total of 10 rows here uh, you might have to increase or decrease depending on the um, covering that you're looking for just make sure the amount of uh, rows that you're putting for green uh, in the upper part is same as your white so now we'll make the straps so the 10 rows are completed and here after completing 10 rows i'm going to make 30 chain stitches so you might have to increase or decrease the number of chain stitches you just make a few chain stitches and then slip stitch and try it on so i'll make 30 chain stitch and then show you what to do next okay so here i have made 30 chain stitches now what i'm going to do is i'll slip stitch to the other side so i'll just come here make a slip stitch to join so in the very first stitch you just make a slip stitch like this and you can now cut the yarn off just make sure that this particular thing fits properly otherwise you might have to increase or decrease the number of chain stitches so i'll just cut this off 
and we'll make the straps in the second side i have to weave in all the ends that i'll do later next what i'm going to do is i'm again going to make the strap here for this side so for that i'm taking the green yarn again make a slip knot here and then attach it to any side we'll attach here i'm going to attach with a slip stitch like this and then again i'm going to make 30 chain stitches so whatever you have uh, the number of chain stitches you had done the other side that many chain stitches you have to do at this side also so i'll just make 30 chain stitch and then join here with a slip stitch so i'll just finish making that chain stitches and then meet you so here i have attached the strap the second strap and i have weaved in all the loose ends as you can see i've already done one eyes so i'll do the second one so first i'll make the oval with the white and then a circle with the black now if you want you can just keep the black circle without the white oval it's up to you so first we'll start with the white oval part and for that i'm using a 3 mm crochet hook and a thinner yarn so we'll just take this away here i have got a small scrap yarn so it's white so we'll start making our oval so to make an oval first i'm going to make a magic circle i'll make an x like this take my hook insert my hook in the this loop and pull up my working yarn now if you find making magic circle difficult you can uh, start with chain four and slip stitch to form a circle so here i have already made my chain uh, sorry magic circle after that i'm going to make chain three one two three and this i'm going to count as my double crochet so this is one double crochet and after this i'm going to put nine more double crochet in my magic circle so that will uh, if i include chain three as my double crochet i should have a total of 10 double crochet in my magic circle so here i have made one two three four five six seven eight nine and one more i'll put ten and that is including my chain three so including my chain three i have now ten i have here ten double crochet i'll just pull this to close the circle and then slip stitch into the third chain of my chain three here so this completes our round one now we'll start the round two and for that i'm going to start with chain two one two and in the same stitch i am going to put a total of two half double crochet so one and two so two half double crochet goes in my first stitch in the next stitch i'll put one half double crochet in the next two stitches i'll put one single crochet each so one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in my fourth stitch after that i will make one half double crochet in the next stitch so here i'll make one half double crochet in the next stitch that will be my sixth stitch in my sixth stitch i'll put three half double crochets here so this is my one in the same stitch another one two and here is my third so three half double crochet will go in the sixth stitch come to the seventh stitch put one half double crochet in the eighth and ninth put one single crochet each so one single crochet here one single crochet here and in the very last stitch i'm going to put one half double crochet so make one half double crochet in the tenth stitch like this now we had started with chain two and that chain two actually i'm going to consider as a half double crochet so that is why i'm going to slip stitch into the 
top chain or your second chain so this makes my oval so I'll just cut the yarn off and then start working on the black part black part is very easy you have to just make a magic circle and then put six uh, half double crochet in it I'll just cut this yarn off so this is our oval now we'll take the black yarn and make a very small circle so you might find it difficult to see with the black yarn so here again I'm going to make a magic circle like this after that I'll put chain two one two and then make five half double crochet in the magic circle and chain two is counted as first half double crochet and then after that I'll put five more so three is over four half double crochet five half double crochet so total you have to put six half double crochet in your magic circle and then slip stitch into your chain two it is difficult to see but just slip stitch into the very first stitch or the topmost stitch of your chain two and then we'll just finish this off sorry so that completes the circular part now as i've said you can just make the black if you're just making the black uh, you might have to go one more round so after making six half double crochet uh, on top of uh, if you're going for round two you can just put two half double crochet in every stitch making a total of 12 half double crochet so you'll get a bigger black circle and you can avoid the oval part now all you have to do is join it like this so now all you have to do is you have to just join it on your mask like this keep it to one side and then join it so i'll just join this and show you how this looks so here i have attached the eyes and this is how our mask finally looks and with this we complete this tutorial hope this tutorial was helpful to you and if you found this tutorial to be helpful and useful please hit the like button and if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing until next time bye thank you for watching